guys and welcome to Daedalus Community. Today we're going to talk about Orbits. Okay, this is not just uh, another Unity tutorial, this is more of a, a cross between physics lesson, mathematics lesson and uh, there's some Unity code too. So if you're new to Unity, you don't like physics and you hate mathematics, this is not the video you want to watch. Okay, okay as you can see, um, I put a GoPro here and it's because I want to I'll try and explain on paper the maths behind uh, the Unity code I'm, I'm gonna write later. So, um, yeah, let's just try to find an ellipse. Okay, uh, I guess you all know what's an ellipse, but, but just for <clears throat> clarity purposes, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna draw, I'm terrible at drawing. This is not an ellipse, well, this is, but it's more of a circle. This is a circle, okay? No, it sucks. This is not a circle. This is a terrible circle. It's the best circle that I can give you right now, okay? If you take this circle and scale it on one axis, like if you did on a phone, okay? Um, you'd end up with something like uh, these. Because terrible ellipse. Okay, this is an ellipse. Um, and it doesn't just have uh, a center, just like the circle, it has two focuses. These two things here are called the focuses. Am I recording the audio? Yes, I am. Great to know. Okay. Um, yeah, two focuses. And if you scale it down, the focuses will touch and you'll end up with a circle. So, this is, or tries to be, uh, an ellipse, okay? Um, yeah, let's just pretend this is an ellipse. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we want to try and uh, draw the ellipse on a Cartesian plane. So let's just draw the focuses and the ellipse around them. Okay, this is a centered ellipse. It has a its center here in the origin, and this is these are the two. Uh, focuses. Okay, so what we want to try and do in Unity today is make an object uh, orbit around uh, another object in a realistic way. So uh, we want to, f first of all, we want it to move around the object. And second, we want the, the, the speed to change according to the position, if it's at the periapsis or at the apoapsis. And, and it, it's, it's going to be, yeah, it's, it's going to be cool. Okay. This uh, is, the, is the first ellipse, okay? So, let's just uh, say we are moving along this ellipse around uh, an object which is uh, in, one of the, in one of these focuses here, let's say it is here, and we are here, and we are uh, orbiting clockwise. Let's just project the, um, the point here on the two axes, we're gonna end up with two uh, components. The Y component, this is the Y component, let's call it uh, Y0 because uh, this is the, the position of the object at uh, time equals zero, so this is Y0 and this is X0. So, um, let's draw an angle, this is an angle, let's call it alpha, and let's define the bigger semi-axis as um, A, this is the bigger, bigger semi-axis, and B as the uh, smaller semi, etc. Um, and alpha, which uh, can alpha is this angle here, is angular. We could define x zero as x c, which is the x of the center. Plus, in this case, it's zero. But just in case the ellipse is translated and it's not centered, uh, we want to be sure that the calculations are right. You know. Okay, uh, x c in case in this case zero plus a bigger semi-axis, uh, cos alpha, yeah, 
I think it's pretty straightforward. And uh, y0 equals yc plus b sin alpha. Okay, so this is the definition of uh, the position of a point on an electrical path depending on the angle. Okay, uh, let's move to unity. And I've already created um, a script called orbit and we want to define what we defined earlier. So um, A, B, alpha and uh, the center. So, so let's just create a serialized field float A, B, alpha and center. Okay, if we uh, do it this way, so on the x and y axis, uh, we're going to end up with an um, elliptical path um, like these. We want it to be parallel to the, the base plane, so we want to use uh, x and z instead of x and y. Uh, so let's recreate this thing here in, um, in Unity. So let's say transform.position equals new vector3 um, let's say the x is uh, center dot x plus uh, a times uh, math dot cos of alpha. Yep, and let's just say zero or whatever value you want the y component to to have, and let's just copy and edit this thing here uh, center dot z b times sin okay and i think we're done okay so if i save this uh this script and add it to one of the Two spheres, spheres that are created, and set A and B as, for example, one and two. If I play, and change alpha, we will notice that the, the sphere is moving along an elliptical uh, path as I change alpha. Let's change the Let's change it to, let's say, 10 and uh, 8, okay? So if I change alpha now, we will notice uh, the movement even better. So like, let's say 10 and 2 and 3. Uh, we won't do this actually because A is the bigger semi-axis. So let's say 10 and 3 way better okay okay we can see that it's orbiting kind of yep and I'm defining the speed by uh, changing the value faster or slower okay and what if we set uh, the two semi-axes as uh, the same value well it's just gonna be a circle okay pretty cool huh yep okay let's now uh, go back to the math side of life. Okay, okay. So what we want to do now is try and recreate a realistic orbit. So there's going to be a new value. Okay, the new value is called. Okay, let me put it up here. Yep. Delta alpha. So delta alpha is the variation of angle. So if I just go and define it in Unity. Okay, let's just add a new value. 
let's call it delta alpha okay let's just increment alpha by delta alpha let's go to unity uh, let's say delta alpha is 0 0.01 uh, so let's say um, six and seven. Okay. Okay. As you can see, the the ball is now moving, and it really looks like a planet orbiting around uh, a, some kind of planet. This is not in the right position. We want this thing to be in one of the two focuses okay, so let's define c as the square root of a squared minus b squared um this is true only if a is bigger than b and that's why we defined uh a as a bigger semi-axis and b as the a smaller semi-axis so actually it works even if it's um equal to b but yeah never mind Okay, so let's now define uh, one of the two focuses. Let's say F1. So the position of F1 uh, on the plane, uh, let's use the XY plane we used, we used before, uh, are going to be um, XC minus C and YC, which in our case is 0. And F2 is going to equal uh, x c plus c uh, and y c. So let's just define the center. Let's call it O. It stands for origin uh, in relation to the focus. So uh, let's say focus one for now. The origin's position uh, is going to be uh, f one x plus c and f one why and yeah okay so i uh changed focus to a transform and define the center depending on this transform okay let's just move to unity now uh and select the small body and set focus one as the big sphere okay let's just play and we'll see how the small body orbits uh, around the big one uh, and the big one is uh, actually in uh, the, the focus and not anymore in the center so if I move this one the other one is gonna move with it and it seems uh, pretty much like uh, a planet orbiting the Sun or something like that but it's not right because Delta Alpha is constant as you can see it's constant and uh, the so the speed at which the body is orbiting is constant and this is not true um, at the apoapsis the object should be slow, should be slower and at the periapsis the object should be faster so we're gonna fix it in a moment <clears throat> so uh, let's just 